Hi, today we're going to talk about Dino and how to deploy Dino apps to the cloud quickly. Um, so Dino is an open source JavaScript for the web, for the modern web. Some of us are already using it. Uh, you know, some of us have heard about it, but not really like, you know, gone into it a bit. Uh, so here we are on Dino.com. You can see it on complicated JavaScript, uh, open source JavaScript runtime for the modern web. You know, it has a nice documentation. Um, you can see how to install it here. I already have this locally. And you know, just a lot of you know documentation around, around like the features, uh, you know, APIs and everything that you can do with it. So you can go to the docs and you can see a lot of this, of these things here, like a lot of examples and apps. So what we are going to do right now is just to deploy a simple Dino app, a to do app, you know, where you can write your tasks. It also uses Deno KVB under the hood, and we deploy to cloud. We deploy to real way as soon as possible, quickly. Um, so we already have an app that I, I run locally. Uh, let's go to the app. It's a to-do list. This is the app. So I'm just going to write something like time to deploy. I'm just going to add that. I'll uh, say uh, where do we deploy to? Uh, let's deploy to railway. <coughs> All right, so this is the Dino app I'm running locally. Uh, so you can go ahead and edit. Let's put to railway in less than a minute. And save. We can delete this. Uh, we can also delete this. All right, so we just have this locally. So let's get this to production. All right, so I'm just going to open a repo uh, in the code developer. I already have this on my GitHub. They know to do showcase. This is it here. By the way, I did not write this code. Uh, this code comes from you know one of the examples repos of you know Dino itself, uh, as you can see here. So I just cloned it and um, enabled the KV API locally, uh, and I'm going to show you how I did that. So if you open this, you have a Dino.json file. Uh, I added this unstable uh, because I, I need this KV. KV is an unstable API right now. So you need to add this else you, it might throw some errors locally and you might not be able to get it running. So I added this. You can you can see this and check it out. I'm also going to add the link to just, you know, <coughs> add the description of the video. Uh, so don't worry about it. So this is it. We have the, the repository. Uh, we have this locally. We have tried it. Now it's time to deploy to railway. So I'm just going to come here and go to railway.com. I go to my dashboard and we just open a new repository. So I mean a new project. So I'm just going to say Dino. Okay, this is it. Dino to the sh showcase. So this is it. <clears throat> so now Railway is going to try to deploy this app, this Dino app right now. Uh just just to ensure that we're all on the same page. Um this uses Railpack to build it. And for you to enable Railpack, you can go to your settings, actually go to your account, your workspace settings. Go to feature flags, then default to real pack. So your services can be built in real pack. Like railway uses Nix packs, but real pack is a successor to Nix packs that we built and it's been around for almost a month and has you know very good support for Dino apps. So if you've not enabled it, you can enable it here, or you can just go back to your project and enable it in the settings. All right, so we have the app building right now, 36 seconds. Oh, it's almost done deploying. This should deploy in less than a minute. You see, it has deployed in 40 seconds. That's how fast it was. So let's check the view logs and see how it deployed it. Uh, we can go to build logs. Uh, we can see, so Railpack, the version of Railpack, it de detected that this app is a Dino app, you know, Dino 2.2.4. And then it, it loaded the main file and then it prepared it. And like that and it builds and now we have Dino running uh, so here right now the service is unexposed so we have to go to settings go to domain and of course generate a domain so that we can access this and then try to use it so let's click on it tada we have our app showing up so this is showing up already as a Dino app and let's add it to the item so yes we deployed a Dino app to railway in less than a minute. All right, so we click add. That's added successfully. Um, this is so cool. 
uh, I want to do this again. Add. So here we have our to-do list app running on railway. We deployed it in less than a minute, so fast. And then we can go ahead and you can go ahead and edit. I want to do this again and again and save. Uh, we can go ahead and delete this, and then we can go ahead and uh, maybe add a full stop here and save again. So we can add as many things as possible. And this will keep running. So if we go back to our app now and just check the deployments, check the logs. So you can see it, it opened a stream and then it's just it's just working. You don't even have to set up anything. It just works out of the box because of real pack. So this is amazing. If you have any Dino apps, please go ahead and deploy to Railway. Share your thoughts and your feedback in the comment section. And you can also reach us out, you know, in any of our Twitter handles. Or you can go to our central station, station.railway.com. And I can't wait to see all the Dino apps you deploy to the cloud. I'll see you next time. Bye.